Good evening, dear friends. In this video, I'm gonna tell you what kind of tricks is uh, the job gonna use to mark the people and why will they accept it, although uh, in the Bible and many other prophecies it has been clearly explained, whoever takes the mark, God will never forgive him. So how come everybody has heard about this and almost everybody, including the very religious people, will make this stupid blunder and exchange uh, their soul for practically almost nothing. So here is our chap, the Jal. You can't see on the uh, blurry image from the phone, but he's got a big smile, although on the left hand side on the stick hang the uh, dead babies and all the other dead children that the artist uh, knew long time ago from the prophecies he will be sacrificing in our modern times, in the end times. So before I even start with the long list of tricks that he's gonna use, just very recently I heard uh, from a very reliable person from the Seventh-day Adventist Church, which seems to be a somewhat uh, better church uh, in comparison with all the other Christian churches, although my favorite uh, Christian church remains Santa Daime, of course. But anyhow, the Seventh-day Adventists uh, seem to be a little bit more profound than uh, some other uh, branches. And they had their own very respectable prophet, uh, by the way, contemporary. That's why he's uh, not so famous, you know. The good people, they are usually not that famous while they are alive. But anyhow... He also, uh, in his uh, own visions, he mentioned the year of uh, 2027 as the year of the main event, which uh, is to be probably considered to be the advent of Christ, or at least the open advent of Christ. He's always here anyway. So this is uh, one more confirmation from independent and respectable source. And something which you will almost never hear in my videos is that uh, now I do accept donations because of a kind of a precarious uh, financial situation with me in exactly at the moment when I need to prepare. More about that in the end of the video. So I will uh, cover with a couple of sentences uh, only each of the some 20 tricks he's gonna use and after that of course there's gonna be more as usual in the end and that's gonna be uh, the most interesting I always do that so to reward the people who watch uh, my videos until the end so most people it seems uh, fall for the most uh, shallow lie and that is uh, don't listen to the people who tell you about the end times prophecies they are just uh, spreading fear that's all and nothing else i mean if you didn't uh, bother to study the prophecies when they were uh, not taking place at least now when they are obviously happening i mean how can you listen to these uh, people who say it's just out of fear Maybe we should suggest them to, like, uh, jump off the cliffs, because one should never have fear, right? Why they fear to jump off the cliff? So they themselves, they are not jumping off cliffs, but they are telling you to go to the slaughterhouse. And uh, the worst is that uh, we don't even have a proper comparison about the type of slaughter uh, that the Mark people are going to face. It's uh, it's something far worse than somebody chopping your your head. And then trap number two. Now, many people figure out uh, what is the mark of the beast actually, and still they are taking it, and they deceive themselves and try to deceive their friends as well. Misery Six Company that this is something external. How how can something on your body affect your spirit? If you're forced to take it by the circumstances and you remain a good person in heart, no matter what they do to your body, it will not ultimately affect your spirit. That's a lie, a bad one. 
It is uh, half true that uh, the mark is only something uh, bodily and external. So now let's first talk about the real external and uh, body related part. Do you know of any substances that can alter your consciousness for better or for the bad? There are many such. Are you aware of any technical installations, like, uh, for example, uh, nano dust that can uh, practically remotely, con remotely control you? Yes, we know about these things, they, they function. There are also plenty of experiments uh, controlling people remotely with uh, waves also. You know, we know about uh, the uh, fear uh, weapons. So it's uh, an absolute uh, lie to say that external things cannot affect your consciousness. This is simply not true. The people who say such things, they've got no clue what are they talking about. And then the second and actually more important component of the mark is that uh, it is not just uh, something that uh, they're gonna put in your body. It is much more than that. Your uh, consent to accept that is already clear indication and confirmation what kind of uh, qualities have you developed in your personality and your clear consent willingly or unwillingly somehow to join the satanist agenda even if you join with resentment still the contract is valid you have made the decision so it is definitely not something external. And the third trap is uh, very much related to the people who claim it is only external. I mean, I've heard ridiculous things like, oh, we'll accept the mark and then we'll we will find some way to detoxify, you know, to purge the toxins from our blood. Really, you think they are that stupid to uh, make toxins that you can purge with fasting or something like that? Uh, definitely not. The, particles they are gonna they are made in such a way that they are gonna like change the very structure of your blood they will change the code of your genes they will change your entire dna and everything there is no detoxification the people who, who are telling you something like this they are blinded to the point that uh, they believe that they will be healthy if uh, they eat uh, products just because uh, the satanists have promised on the label that it is bio and then trap number four uh, looking at the people who are already marked and most of them um, they didn't show any drastic changes upon taking it so to say that you see nothing happens to them really the masters of uh, deceit the satanists they will uh, do you expect them to show their uh, real colors of what they are doing so fast and scare the people obviously not they have not made their mark like that that's that's they are clever they have shown that they are clever moreover we know from the prophecies that it will be only after years that they will uh, use their powers to remotely control the consciousness of the marked people and they will do it only when everybody uh, falls in the trap, everybody who goes voluntarily. So this is, uh, this is just yet another lie that nothing happens to the marked people. Now trap number four, uh, five is way more subtle. And these are people who are not yet marked. They believe in the prophecies. Uh, they think they are cautious enough, some of them even uh, think that they are preparing, but uh, they remain in the city and uh, actually they are not preparing. So what will happen to these uh, people is uh, gradually they will uh, lose employment, I mean already uh, they are refusing jobs for unmarked people, it's not... Uh, in future it is uh, gradually taking over and uh, then they will they won't be able to cope with their bills because they are unprepared they can't pack and go uh, on a very short notice and then uh, while they are thinking what to do they will also close the streets and uh, I mean it will be really 
what die from hunger in your apartment or what not many people will do that if they were so much uh, loyal to Christ they would have prepared earlier they will not uh, sit and die in their apartment uh, from hunger for Christ they will take the mark so these people are actually deceiving themselves that uh, they are preparing and they are just uh, weak and don't want to admit it to themselves they are weak in their uh, faith in the prophecies in the words their their faith in the words of the forefathers is weak and then the sixth trap that really gets the gold medal for hypocrisy i hear it from uh, the people who think they are religious or something like that they say i'm completely surrendered to christ so and that means i'm completely protected no matter what i take or what i do in the Bible it says, if one surrenders and fully gives oneself to Christ, then what can do some fix or anything do to you? Really, is there any more ridiculous hypocrisy than this? To do exactly what Christ explicitly told you not to do, not to take the mark, and at the same time to claim that you are surrendered to him? This is the most uh, preposterous self-deceit and sometimes it goes uh, hand in hand together with uh, uh, the other similar belief. My, my pastor approved or my priest, whatever, the bishop uh, approved, so it means I'm safe. Or another formulation, all of my, as they say, God sisters or God brothers, the other people in my religious community, uh, they are taking it. I mean, how childish childish can it get? Because in the Bible and all other scriptures, it is clearly said most of the churches will turn to the Antichrist. So if you are going the path the most people go and the most uh, people in the churches, you are surely going the wrong way. And how such people can think they are honest with themselves? I, I really don't get it. I mean, really. Trap number seven, I have no choice, but I have to get it, otherwise I can't continue with my education. I will have no future, or I will lose my job and I will have no future. Uh, this is uh, obviously uh, the attitude of people who do not believe in the prophecies. If they believe, they would understand that the current education will have nothing to do with the uh, brilliant future, because the end times are already happening and... Uh, the knowledge of the current satanic network will not be very useful in future. And although uh, certainly keeping your job may look like a somewhat better option in the very short term, in long term uh, will be also, uh, as they say, to trade a horse for a chicken. You know, all this is uh, sifting. Really the people who believe in the prophecies, they believe in the voice of their forefathers their um, really the internal memory of the being is strong so they they understand why they should uh, trust the prophecies and they will uh, not go for the superficial things and not because uh, having pleasant and prosperous uh, life here and now is bad but because uh, the deal that you are offered a few months of uh, slightly better conditions in exchange of uh, almost eternity of the future of your soul in a <laughs> kind of unpleasant, uh, at, at least to say, situation. This is a very bad deal. Trap number eight. Some people preach God is love, God is pleasure. Uh, and you have to take the mark, otherwise you can't have your pleasures, you can't travel, you can't have fun. So that is ungodly, so take for the cheerful, good way. The problem with this uh, philosophy is that uh, after taking the mark, even if uh, the marked people have, if they have... Uh, somewhat uh, more bodily conveniences for a couple of months or maximum couple of years uh, still they will be in mental turmoil 
and that will cause much more pain than the um, bodily inconveniences of the unmarked people, way more pain, and that's in short term. In long term, I can't even compare uh, what the two types of souls will get. So, uh, God is love. He does not uh, want you to suffer. That's why I take the lesser suffering. Now, uh, many of my listeners will accuse me at this moment, why not go for no suffering at all? Why do you proposing less suffering? I'm proposing you uh, just because surely more than 99% of the people will go through some extreme uh, suffering during this uh, decade. If you are one of these uh, lucky souls that has no bad karma, excuse me, uh, really, I don't want you to put on the path of suffering. If you do not deserve to suffer, you will not suffer, but uh, if you take the mark, you will, no matter what uh, you think now. And I can never stop admiring the accuracy of the prophecies of uh, Mary Julie Jehani. She even told us how will they name their satanic philosophy. It will be the merry and happy way of life. And here they are conjuring the global citizens to celebrate International Day of Happiness. And why are they happy? Because they are giggling on the high quality photos. The United Nations, they also uh, posted, they had an official uh, website, which uh, for some reason later on they decided to take down, but they already announced the arrival of capitalism. That was the name they were using of the future system, uh, which will include uh, wonderful perks, like for example, uh, getting a monthly free money if you just get marked. I mean, uh, like a fixed monthly payment for your soul. How attractive. Here they are already preparing for the people for uh, what uh, Mary Julie Jehani also described very well, that they will uh, depict the people loyal to Christ as uh, criminals against humanity. Here uh, they say uh, criminals in the robes of priests. And what about the criminals in the vests of uh, presidents? These are exactly the words in uh, Kalki Purana, uh, written hundreds if not thousands of years ago. And the description in, of the end times in the uh, Vedic books, it's not only in, in Kalki Purana, also in a few others like Bhagavad. It's very much relevant uh, to what is happening. Exactly, they will... Uh, start demanding such ridiculous uh, taxes and they will grow so evil, they will promote cannibalism, that uh, the noble people will be forced to take to the forest that is in the Vedas. It will become so bad and then all water will disappear. So there are lots of uh, elements of the biblical apocalypse also in the Vedas, although uh, not so many people are aware of that. Or listen to this wording, the farmers in Tanzania have pissed their pants as they are standing out of joy as 1.1 billion worth seeds are delivered from the Byron Debt Corporation. I mean, uh, what they call it, Byron Life Sciences, I mean joy and life. What the inappropriate words for these uh, criminal enterprises. By taking the mark, you will be pledging your alliance to the camp of this type of liars. You will be their accomplice. You will be part of their network. It will not be long before you participate as well. And this comment is a perfect illustration of the next trap people who refuse to hear negative stuff because if they think about it, it will happen and if they don't hear and don't believe about it, it doesn't happen to them or at least they believe it won't. If it worked that way, uh, since very few people believe that biblical apocalypse will come within our lifetime, it would have not started, but yet it started. Isn't it time to uh, 
with being so gullible and believing that whatever you imagine it happens, it obviously doesn't. How many millions of books have been sold telling the people that you just imagine to be rich and it will happen? Sadly, a very small fraction of the people who bought the books and believed in it uh, became rich, but the authors certainly did. The way they preach this philosophy that whatever you focus it will be, it is a perfect example of uh, sophism. Using half-truths is uh, exactly what they will do a lot in the case of whatever focus it will be. It's absolutely true, however, it may take many lifetimes for the fruit to ripen. And uh, in the case of uh, people who do not believe in the end-time prophecies, most of them will still have to participate in the end-time theater because of things they focused on uh, in other incarnations, past or future. So ignoring the multiple facets of one's soul is, uh, in, in the case of di this trick, uh, the pivotal point where they twist the truth in such a way that it becomes actually a lie. And another clever trick in this uh, very uh, short comment. So sad, immediately uh, they try to convince you that the death of the satanic parasitic monster is something sad. Basically they are saying let's cancel the new age because of the birth pains. Or it is okay if it comes but without birth pains. Again, cleverly skipping that the birth pains themselves are not a must. It is something that uh, the souls who will participate have focused upon by their own choice in the past or in the future, and that's why they will ha have to go through them. For example, a very good comparison. Uh, most people and most women today are convinced that uh, childbirth has to be so painful and horrible as it is in the modern hospitals, but there are countless historic records that even as close as 150 years ago, 200, the childbirth was a completely different thing. The women would uh, go to the field and, uh, you know, to, to uh, gather the harvest, the corn, and usually the baby would uh, come out uh, while they're working. And they will quickly take care of it. Sometimes uh, they would uh, bind it with their skirt to their breast so that it is uh, uh, drinking milk while they continue to uh, gather the harvest. It was that easy, childbirth, and not so long ago. Millions and uh, billions of women choose to suffer uh, during childbirth in the hospitals absolutely voluntarily if they wanted to educate themselves they would go for the natural way and uh, uh, change their life in such a way that many other things uh, become much easier but just because they have uh, put these blinders that this the hospital way is the only way the painful way is the only way they go for that way and uh, the modern people they want the new age but they have uh, put on these blinders convincing them that they have to stick to the parasitic uh, monster no matter what and that sticking will cause the pain not the arrival of the new age itself the pain is optional so these people uh, who, who talk in such way they will have countless uh, arguments all of them false and they will generate as long as you listen to them uh, and the trick is at the end uh, they will waste uh, your time and until you continue to dwell in their uh, nonsense you will not have uh, time to prepare you will not have time to love your own soul and you will get marked and the only way out is uh, not to talk to such type of people and their arguments will come in all kind of uh, very frivolous uh, formulations like let's take it easy and uh, see what's happening I mean uh, that means waiting waiting for what that they shut down the streets and uh, the food supply and then you, you are sure that then we are absolutely sure yet it's this apocalypse and okay this is the mark <laughs> it's too late then it's too late 
another similar formulation oh yes i believe about in all these prophecies i will not take the mark but still let's hope that uh, somehow we'll take another timeline and we'll skip the worst i mean that itself uh, is is okay to say that but what they mean actually is uh, yes i understand uh, what the prophecies say but i will not do anything about it uh, until it it is not uh, too late and then I will be caught in the mark. And that's what actually most of these people mean. And some people are uh, uh, haven't caught in, in the news and in the current situation since a couple of years and they're still talking that when it gets too bad, uh, people will suddenly awaken finally. No, they will not awaken. It is clear in the prophecies and uh, one can really see if one looks around that uh, People are losing their minds with uh, an amazing velocity. Yes, there are some hints uh, that there will be some union in the Slavic countries and there will be a very short period when uh, the true gospel will be preached. But this will not cancel anything and it's uh, kind of regional for uh, Eastern Europe only. And will it uh, awaken uh, really uh, many people? I don't know, because in the prophecies uh, it is said that whoever has taken the mark before that, when this uh, short good period is over, uh, they will also take the final stamp as well. Trap number 15 is actually uh, nasty. It's a failure to recognize the mark just because uh, in the Bible and in Islam they are talking about a single mark and they have made it kind of uh, stepwise, which is the same thing, it's just uh, different stages of accepting it. First they are giving like a soul anesthetic, uh, they, they are administering through the body uh, so that the soul doesn't really feel and understand when it is... Uh, zombified uh, this is the first stage and uh, you know some people take uh, the test with the intention that they will not take the fix is that possible theoretically it is possible but uh, not many people will be doing uh, that uh, it will be uh, just very few exceptions because um, those who have been convinced in some way or another to take the test even which also provides a certificate which already in many places allows people uh, uh, to buy and sell and uh, others who do not have it uh, cannot buy and sell so even the uh, in this so-called innocent first certificate fully qualifies for the mark of the beast even in biblical sense what to speak of all the other detailed uh, prophecies so Whoever takes that, my personal feeling is uh, there is still a chance uh, that he will not take uh, the fix. But after the fix, I think we are getting to the point of uh, no hope. Uh, because um, even in the prophecies, it is clear if, uh, those who refuse the uh, fixing even not all of them will hold until the end those who are weaker even they will be persuaded eventually so if one is uh, almost persuaded at this point i would say uh, don't uh, risk your soul just retire in uh, prayer and seclusion and uh, this will be much more beneficial than uh, frantically sticking to some sort of uh, job for example somebody asked to talk uh, Vyacheslav uh, you're talking a lot about the marked people but what about the unmarked how will they spend uh, the apocalypse and he replied that uh, most of them actually those who have uh, already these divine qualities and are firm deeply inside that um, I'm not gonna go with the satanists God knows about them and he would have prepared a place usually in seclusion for them beforehand and most of them uh, will spend the apocalypse like in a bubble really like uh, an isolation 
and uh, he said most of them nobody will touch them they will be like behind an invisible wall i have not forgotten that uh, i want to go through the entire utrok uh, vyacheslav material and bring you the new information but it is so difficult for me since uh, one year i'm in my personal tribulation please all of you say a short prayer for me so that i have uh, the strength to, to to cope with life and also brings information to you it is very important how we formulate our prayers if you want to help me uh, please pray in such a way for example if you believe in sin just uh, ask the lord to please maybe reduce my payment for sins as much as possible some people don't like the word sin so maybe they can say whatever is causing this like a chain of difficulties just one after another sometimes the new one even starts before the other one is over so it has been a constant chain of uh, such things for one year non-stop Maybe with your prayer this uh, chain will end and uh, I will get some uh, time to rest. And now to continue with the traps. Uh, some people will be falling into the trap of believing, believing that uh, ecumenism, uh, the new religion that is coming soon, is really a brotherly lovely unification of all religions and it will bring some peace it is not absolutely not if you look in the doctrine itself uh, you will see that it uh, scrambles pieces of uh, different religions into satanic rituals so it is uh, combining elements of the existing religions to make up uh, satanic uh, satanic worship and the last and most important uh, trap about which I have been uh, warning continuously is that the image of the beast, uh, whoever sees that, it will be very difficult to resist his magic. And uh, I've been talking lately with uh, devout Christian people. There is very little awareness about this, uh, even in the religious community, and this is very important because people still keep their gadgets and he will be appearing on them or is already appearing on them. I don't know, uh, there is a video circulating uh, that a certain chap arrived uh, from Spain into uh, his uh, future would-be capital it's not sure if he is the main uh, Dajjal or some of the minor Dajjals because in the Bible and in, in, in Islam we have also minor Dajjals uh, but uh, he uh, went there to the future capital and he spoke to the crowds he gave them uh, hints that uh, soon there will be war and everything will be quite different after this war this uh, event was preceded uh, a few days or weeks before that by mass prayers in those uh, region for the arrival of uh, their king and uh, then he arrived so we are very near uh, there are already public appearances uh, of the chap or his representative it is not sure but uh, this is going on and everything is very very near i've got so many things to tell you recently i started uh, talking to people in various ways and i noticed really this trend um, in many cases these are people that i know for many years I reconnected with all of them and I noticed this uh, trend that people who were very friendly with me for many years now that they are going in the way of the mark all of a sudden without any reason they are, they are becoming hostile to me So if you have decided uh, to remain with Christ, you will notice yourself that even if you don't say anything to the people who are uh, uh, in the marking direction, they will smell it from inside and they will start turning against you.
Also, I heard an interesting observation from uh, one family. They noticed that uh, sometimes they speak about, they spoke about some topics which are unusual in their home. For example, they mentioned, uh, I don't know, yachts, something that is uh, completely out of their field usually. They only spoke about it between each other. They did not do like any internet uh, research or anything like that. And immediately when they opened their devices after that, they started seeing ads about yachts. I mean, I'm making up the subject, but they observed that uh, on a couple of occasions. And then I remember that I heard the very same uh, report from uh, some people in America. So, exactly like in the Otrok Vyacheslav uh, prophecies, which were uh, given decades ago, everything that you say, even when you are out in nature, will be recorded and overheard. So... But this is not bad. Uh, he, he said uh, they will record everything, but uh, God will protect his own people in a bubble. I'm just mentioning you to assure you once again that everything is going according to plan. And uh, the new beautiful earth is near. Also, some uh, people have been uh, sending me messages. Uh, will I publish more on Pramonov? Is, is he publishing more? Actually, my computer is broken. I can't even open the uh, video files. I don't remember. Is there much left from the original material that I haven't published or not? Because I cannot even open it and see. Uh, I'm still making this on my phone. That's why probably the quality is horrible, I cannot return and edit on a small phone, this is like uh, uh, too difficult. But actually this um, problem with my computer has turned into blessing because uh, of course using my phone for internet and such things uh, is a pain, but I found out that actually I can reduce uh, the, my digital involvement uh, even much more because I'm forced to, yeah, you can't do much with the phone, but this has turned uh, into a blessing and I managed to reduce uh, my uh, technology time even much more. I have managed to shift all my monsters in far away in the house. They are not now in my living area and I'm very happy about that. But Pramonov, he has uh, not uh, published uh, anything uh, recently, which is to be expected because he warned us that uh, the benevolent gods, he will not be in the open during the war. They will manifest only until the end, so it is uh, normal. But the last thing, the last uh, video in which he spoke and addressed the people, he made it absolutely clear that uh, he uh, does not advise the fix at all. So please uh, do not deceive yourself and uh, don't go for all these uh, stupid excuses like it's difficult times, yeah, the times will be getting very difficult and it will be time for compromise. Yeah, you can compromise with the small things, anything except joining the satanists uh, with, with, with food, with conveniences. With anything else, uh, uh, compromise except the main thing. Another subject uh, on, on which I have not published but I wish to publish uh, is um, what to do in terms of dentistry because uh, there could be that some of us may not have access to proper uh, uh, dental services or it might be too dangerous to visit such uh, places for a couple of years. So what if uh, we get toothache? There are solutions uh, for this, I know for sure, because I remember uh, actually uh, more than 20 years ago I went to one um, uh, dentist, a uh, very, very modern office, not uh, like somebody operating on a chair on the street. And when uh, that dentist, she saw me how frightened am I from, I see them as cousins of <laughs> the devil, all these people, unfortunately. Uh, she, she was very well-educated lady and she told me, you know what, when you are so frightened, why don't I make the feeling uh, for you without these uh, drilling machines, the way they were making them, let's say, 100 years ago. 
and I told her, but that will not be strong. And she said, actually, it worked quite fine. I will still put uh, the modern cement filling. And um, she did it that way. She still cleaned it uh, and uh, put, you know, these disinfectants. And, um, of course, my tooth was bad and hurting before I went to the dentist. And after the treatment, I was okay. And uh, the feeling, I don't know if it is still there after decades, but certainly it helped for quite a long time because I even forgot which tooth it is. Maybe it has fallen after uh, 10 years but I, what I mean is it held very well so there are such options uh, there are materials available I just don't have the knowledge and um, I think that lady was not uh, the only educated uh, person in, in this field I think uh, dentists they study such things in the history of dentistry and can be very helpful if you are uh, such a dentist uh, please contact me or if you have a friend or you have a resource where this is described uh, like uh, emergency dentistry um, yes uh, p please uh, help me to find such information and publish it and um, it's not this uh, uh, incident that I told you about. Also, there are so many people on this earth uh, which simply cannot afford to uh, modern uh, d dentist treatments with all these drills and stuff. And they have their own ways with, uh, you know, local semi-educated doctors. They have somewhere a chair and uh, all kinds of <laughs> scary instruments but somehow it functions for them they, they have uh, found out uh, some tricks the hard way so if, if you know about these things uh, let me know because uh, we can spread the knowledge and uh, maybe we can save somebody from a trouble uh, exactly when he needs it in future and as usual, I am updating you on survival foods, uh, which I find uh, continuously. It's a good idea to get a low-fat uh, milk powder. That can last easily 10 years. And also you can get a dry acidophilus culture. And then you can have a luxury apocalypse with uh, something like yogurt in times when nobody will even dare to dream about such things. Another survival of food which I discovered recently is egg powder. That can also hold long, especially if it is uh, a vacuum sealed. I don't know if 10 years, but uh, people report uh, 5, 8 years easily, at least some brands. And the good thing is uh, low price, like uh, 1 kilogram will be whatever, 10, 15 euro maximum. And in one kilogram of powder, you have like uh, 80 or 90 eggs. And that means with three kilos per year, you get an egg every day. And I ordered one uh, kilo and made an omelet. It was quite good because I put lots of uh, black pepper and spice. It was uh, far better than expected, actually. So that is uh, uh, a food for variety. Usually I don't eat uh, eggs. But still, um, for variety, I'm gonna get some of this uh, powder. Also, you may consider uh, obtaining a couple of aloe vera plants to use them um, as food, as medicine, and also as uh, a cream for your skin because uh, the creams, they don't last long. They have fat, everything fatty doesn't last long. So, now, a subject which I uh, hate to touch, but I think I have to touch uh, uh, now, after so many years, is uh, donations. I never get paid for any ads uh, on my videos. I never activated any ads. If you have uh, seen an ad, it's uh, all these uh, YouTube tricks. Uh, I, I've uh, never received money for that. Sometimes I receive donation, probably uh, half time, uh, half of the time in which I was making videos. I was also uh, receive, open to receiving donations and uh, now I'm s uh, going for that option again because uh, I'm uh, cut off from my own money, they are stuck abroad and uh, if I had more finances I would be able to prepare better. 
So if any of you has some extra money, I will accept them at this time. And uh, thank you very much in advance also with uh, your patience because uh, sending a donation will not be extremely easy and it may require a bit of uh, communication. So if it is uh, something uh, below 10 euro, you can simply use Patreon. The link uh, I will place in the dis description of this video. But if it is more, please contact me on uh, this email address and uh, let me know how much it is exactly because then I will see what is the best way to receive it. And most importantly, when you write me, uh, after that, if you don't hear from me within two days, uh, check your spam folder because half of my uh, emails are simply not delivered. People never get them because uh, they are in the spam folder. Or if you don't receive a reply, write again. Uh, maybe from a different email address or something like that because I'm having a lot of these uh, problems my emails not getting delivered even when I open a brand new email account so please mention the amount and also if you happen to be in Europe and you're, uh, you have the option to send a SEPA payment uh, in most European banks uh, that is possible and that means almost free or extremely cheap international transfers. Uh, let me know about that because uh, uh, then it could be easier and I will know what are the options in that case. So thank you in advance for that and the other thing which uh, you can use this uh, email address for and this is for everybody uh, even those uh, who uh, don't wish to send a donation, if you don't have much money or not expected to send a donation anyway, uh, is uh, you can write to me and I will send to you a small downloadable gift which 99% uh, sure you will like it. And now I would like to tell you the parable about the couple driving on the highway. I, I don't think, uh, I, I was thinking to include it in one of the previous episodes, but probably I didn't. I'm forgetting it has been so many hours of uh, material over so many months, so forgive me if I'm uh, telling it for the second time, but it is a good one. So, uh, wife and husband were driving on the highway and there was some uh, funny sign turn right to avoid little danger or something like that they couldn't see properly and the man said honey what was that it was kind of some kind of funny colorful sign and the wife said i don't know honey because there was christ there should there must be maybe something religious so it is not important and they just uh, continued driving without uh, giving it much attention and then there was another sign uh, for a small road, very, very small road uh, turning on the right. And there was again a sign, if you continue driving ahead, uh, you, you will you will perish in a horrible way, something like that. But the, the way that was uh, turning was so small that... Uh, and the couple didn't take it seriously because the man said if this must be some joke if uh, there was a really a little danger ahead they would post official signs right not some sort of uh, uh, fanatic religious uh, notes on the road so they did not take it seriously and also everybody was just uh, driving on on the highway and not turning on on the right side and then they saw some people again um, trying to make a third sign saying this is your last chance turn right or you will perish in a horrible way do not drive ahead on the highway something like that but the sign was uh, not uh, was poorly made and the people were in a hurry and shortly after that the lanes actually split and um, while the wife and the husband were thinking what is going on actually um, the the lanes they, they split in such a way that one could no longer cross with the car so they could see that only a couple of cars went into the right lane but the hundreds they continued driving on the main highway 
And then they saw something strange. Uh, actually, ahead there was lots of fog, and all of a sudden uh, there was very bad weather. The clouds were very low. They were like uh, kind of poisonous-looking, toxic uh, fumes. And then they saw some people. They stop in panic on the highway. They try to leave their cars and they try to cross to the right lane by foot. And then others, some sort of gangs, come and try to shoot them or something like that. But uh, this, this couple, they just continued driving, although it was very weird. And then the man figured out there is something wrong. And the wife said she pulled out her phone to check and she said there should be some official warning uh, from the ro road uh, authorities, right? Let's check and read about it. And well, putting their faith again in technology and uh, centralized information, as they were looking into uh, their uh, phones, uh, they flew off uh, the cliff into the kingdom of uh, the Jiao. So at this point, uh, we are uh, at the last uh, sign. The lane for the right turn is splitting and very very soon uh, there will be such a situation that you can't even uh, get to that lane anymore and at last i would like uh, to give you a very special mantra and this mantra is only for the people who have chosen uh, the right road uh, because uh, it is for the deity called virvetal virvetal uh, is a special deity and it's kind of combination between uh, maybe Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva some sort. We don't know much about him, but he is considered uh, to be a veer and incarnation of at least qualities of the Lord. So he's not just some ghost uh, uh, who will help anybody who calls him. He will only help people who are really in trouble and uh, who are really righteous in their intent at the moment. So do not call him to do some uh, bad job for you, because he will turn against you. Because uh, he is an incarnation of the Lord and he is justice. Now, Vir uh, means like a hero, um, a very uh, brave uh, fighter that also like a protective deity that's how uh, that's what vir means in india and vital is his name and in translation it means uh, subtle so uh, for those who wish uh, to call him they may do so only when they are in danger don't chant this mantra just to test it out uh, or you will end up in a stupid situation like for example calling the police to come urgently and when they come you giggle at them oh so you really arrived hello how do you do i was just checking you out don't do that mistake so this is not a mantra that has to be chanted continuously this is a mantra uh, that has to be chanted only when you are in extreme uh, danger of external uh, situations especially somebody harming you maliciously and unfairly now why did i choose uh, this mantra amongst the thousands of vedic mantras is um, the way i found it it was a couple of years ago i was reading a compilation of uh, hundreds of uh, vedic mantras and there was like uh, the format was the mantra and then a page of explanation and the material was so huge that I was quickly browsing and often I was uh, reading just the name of the deity and the mantra itself and not much detail. And when I read, read this mantra, I was surprised uh, to feel uh, the presence of the hero right away. So that uh, kind of surprised me. And then I actually started reading the description of the mantra. And in, this, in the description, they said that this is a mantra that should not be chanted casually, but instead uh, this is a special mantra for people who are in extreme danger and need help urgently. 
and uh, it should not be used if you are not sure that uh, you are really being attacked without a right. So be careful and use this uh, only if you are really in extreme danger. And then they said the deity really comes immediately. So that's why this mantra is uh, special for me. The mantra is Om Namo Virvetala, Mai Kali Kilala, Sankata Bagao, Dermat Lagao, Jaldiao, Kurukuru Fatswaha. Now, uh, this is, uh, I believe, a Sid mantra. It doesn't need uh, activation. It's not a Vedic mantra, but instead it's in local language. And uh, those, they are not, um, uh, how to say, sealed like the Vedic uh, mantras, which I explained in the video, which was uh, called uh, Do Vedic Mantras Work for Western People or something like that. So this is a mantra that is... Uh, already activated. The meaning of the mantra, Om Namo Vir Vitala, I bow down before you, O Hero Vital. My Kali Kelala. This uh, refers that uh, he got uh, born as uh, son of Kali, uh, goddess Kali. Sankata Bagao, it literally uh, means Scare away my difficulties. Sankata is a uh, difficulty. Jaldiao means uh, come quickly, please. Dermat Lagao, do not be late, please. And once again, the entire mantra Om Namo Vir Vitala, Mai Kali Kelala, Sankata Bagao, Dermat Lagao, Jaldiao, Kurukuru Fatsvaha. Now, this is a question, uh, should we, uh, should those who live in England accept the centrally organized uh, help if they try to relocate them when England sinks? I don't remember any advice against that, but I have to uh, see again the Utrok Vyacheslav material. I hope I, I can do it. I'm, uh, I'm very weak lately. This is actually a very good question because I was quite negative about uh, the cross symbol in uh, the previous video. About uh, Egypt, according to Anatoly Fomenko, uh, all these Egyptian crosses, they were actually uh, at the time after Christ. So is that really so? I don't know. That much I can say about the Egyptian crosses. Probably Fomenko is right as usual. But it seems the cross uh, existed even before Christ as a symbol. I, I really don't know. I mean, it is such a simple element, you know. Uh, so, by simple, I mean as a decoration element. So, how was it used uh, before the time of Christ and during the time of Christ? I really have got no clue. And also, we should not forget uh, that... Um, this um, report that the early Christians were not using it, this is only from the Bogomils from Bulgaria. And these were not the, uh, actually even early Christians is not the right term, but the real early followers of Christ, because later on uh, they made this entire thing Christianity. So, however, we see that the Qatars used it and they were kind of a branch of the Bogomils. So eventually even the Bogomils themselves accepted the cross. So it is uh, a bit complicated and uh, I, the, the further we go back in time, the less we know. This is also a very good question. Uh, somebody says that they started having visions while awake, both good and bad. Is this from the Divine Creator or something else? This is actually the normal state of humans. So sometimes uh, we get flashes of what does it mean to have a normal human body. 
And these uh, flashes will be coming uh, very often uh, now that uh, the earth is being stirred. It could be a personal gift uh, from the Creator to, to you, or it uh, could be from the Dajjal if you have uh, chosen the wide path. It depends, but the most likely it is uh, simply a normal activation as uh, the time changes and uh, your normal human abilities are uh, getting activated. And um, everybody will be getting such flashes. Also, uh, those who choose the white path <laughs> towards the cliff, uh, they will be also openly speaking with uh, and seeing evil spirits, probably. There are such prophecies uh, within this uh, decade, and this will be uh, more and more frequent as the time comes near. And of course, if you choose uh, the narrow path, uh, the right lane from the parable and you remain with Christ, you're just turning into a normal human. That's all, because uh, we are beings of light. Originally, the human species is not demonic. 